I think that working a lot in the greenhouse has really strengthened my appreciation of plants. I think people find them boring a lot because they don't move like, like animals do, and people find movement exciting, right? And they do move just slowly, but I think it's kind of amazing that they can be so successful and do so many of the things that other organisms have to accomplish by moving when they're like standing pretty still. Things that I do here, I just, you know, groom plants, I weed, um, I learn about different types of insects that are around. There's aphids and tree frogs. You know, I just learn about uh, tropical plants too, things that don't normally grow in the Northwest. Um, so it's really fun, you know, it's like almost being on a different planet in here. It's really cool. So here's a passion flower that has super different morphology that's attractive to bees. You can see that the difference in coloration, it's more of like this purple color that bees can see really easily. And you'll notice that the male and female parts of the flower here are way closer to the plant and that it forms like this landing platform because the bees need to be able to walk on that to be able to, to pollinate it. There are tons of species that you would never see anywhere else unless you went all over the world. Um, and there are knowledgeable, amazing staff like Doug Ewing and Jeanette and Niall who just know everything about all of these plants and can tell you a ton about their life history. Things that have evolved that you would never imagine were possible. These intricate, amazing relationships between plants and the things that eat them, plants and the things that pollinate them, etc. And it's just, it's amazing to learn and to be able to understand kind of the variety of things and the variety of relationships that exist in nature.